pay. Now this might be quite hard, so do you want me to play it and you watch? Mm -hmm. Okay. <coughs> All right. A yoktik August one me. Where's the sound gone? Minecraft. It says Minecraft. A. It says my. It says Minecraft. A. Yeah. Who's this him? There's the mine, there's the good guys, there's the good gunmans, there's the good gunmans, there's the good gunmans, eh? Nothing built can last forever, and every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, more and more details are lost, until all that remains are myths, half-truths. To put it simply, lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the Far Lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures, unabridged as self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes, and ours was fortunate to have, so long ago, four heroes such as these. Gabriel, the warrior, before whose sword all combatants would tremble. Eligard, the redstone engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the Rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Soren, the architect, builder of worlds and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. like a movie but when one story ends another one begins would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens just to be clear you wouldn't have any weapons or armor so you'd have to fight them with your hands it's just a hypothetical question jesse so, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof, mm -hmm. and if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Reuben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us? Really? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Of course he is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like, I don't know. Amateurs. He's my wingman. People always want to talk to the girl with the pig. You mean talk about the girl with the pig? Like, look at the weird girl with the weird pig? How weird. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. 
I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. I'm tired of being a laughing stock. We are not losers, Olivia. We lose all the time. It's okay. what we do. Okay. That might be true. I can't remember the last time we won anything. But if that's the case, it means we win at being losers. <laughs> all right. Did you hear that? Totally freaked out. Now we're back. Uh, Axel, what's the matter with you? Great. Now I'm gonna smell like a pig at Endercon. Cool mask. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Very convincing. <laughs> the look on your faces. Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's got to wear a costume. As long as Reuben is happy, I'm happy. Happy? Well, zippity doo da. Okay, relax. It's fine. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. Waiting on you guys. See, now he's your wingman. Stop. Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. <clears throat> Give me a dragon war, Reuben. <clears throat> That'll do, Reuben. That'll do. I got this stand as a gift, but I don't have any armor to put on it. Maybe someday. One of these days, we're gonna win the Endercon building competition. And when we do, people will look at us and say, Hey, there goes Jesse and Ruben, winners of the Endercon building competition. Shears. Definitely taking these. Never know when I might need to shear some sheep. Gabriel the warrior. You think we'll ever get that famous? It's not impossible. Maybe I'll get famous for my sweet poster collection. Uh, flint and steel, not too shabby. everything let's roll yeah dude roll let's go I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition but you guys have to promise not to say anything okay also it's in two parts each part more exciting than the last Spit it out axel part one the special guest at this year's intercon is none other than gabriel the warrior him freaking self whoa what's part two Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose. But if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losing. Meeting Gabriel would be a dream and an honor. Totally. He's awesome. It would be amazing to meet him. Reuben better be careful in that costume. The last time Gabriel saw a dragon, it didn't end well. So... Does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? Yeah, my uh, source uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year we've got Ruben with us. We basically have no chance. Faith, Olivia. What? A little slice. A sliver. A portion. Just a little faith. That's all we need. Also, I'm hungry. To win. To win. No, no, I'm with that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. You have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay, then. 
So how do we do this? We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. You might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than Creepers. They both have their moments. They're both pretty scary. Then again, you scared the crap out of us with a Creeper today. Let's build a zombie. I guess that's kind of like a Creeper. Eh, it's a monster. It's fine. We are so ready. Yeah. I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. We're so prepared. We can't lose. Cannot. Bring it in. <laughs> Dare to prepare on three. Nope. Preparing is daring. Nope. That's the same thing. Forget it. Team on three. One, two, three. Team. Prepare. going to be different. I'm not just ready to build. I'm ready to win. Nice pig. Losers. Oh, great. There's Lucas and the Ocelots. The rivalry continues. Man, they've got matching leather jackets and everything. So cool. Well, well, well. If it isn't the order of the losers. <laughs> great. <laughs> the fail squad's here. Lucas. Get a load of these losers. Let's go, guys. Name, please. Axel. And uh, how do you do? No, your team name. Team name? We are not ready for this. <laughs> so much for losing anonymously. We're the order of the pig. <laughs> really? Cemented ties to Reuben, or are you making fun of me? Okay, Order of the Pig. You guys are in booth five. Uh, ah, ah. <laughs> it's like... Everyone in town is here. I don't like the look of this. Is that a freaking beacon? They have a freaking beacon? Freaking beacon? That's stained glass. They aren't just building a beacon. They're building a rainbow beacon. We're gonna lose. Our design is way cooler. A gigantic zombie is way cooler than a fancy light. Their difficulty score is going to be higher than our total score. But we've got something they don't. Fireworks. We should probably stop staring at them. <laughs> Look, it's the order of the losers again. <laughs> 
good one, Gil. We're just looking. There'll be plenty of time for you all to look at it after it wins and gets shown at Endercon. You're being unpleasant. Maybe not all of you. Endercon doesn't allow outside food or drink. I'm talking about your pig. Uh, you really shouldn't mess with Reuben. I do what I want. Besides, what arm can a pig do? Keep talking and find out. Stop wasting your time, Aiden. We've got work to do. You're lucky I'm busy. Hey, Josie. Guys. Hey, Petra. How's the bill going? Only time will tell, but we're optimistic. Hey, Petra. I forgot to thank you for that nether star. Hey, Lucas. Not a problem. You help these tools? For the right price, I'll help anyone. If you need anything, you know where to find me. None of us know where to find you. Exactly. No hard feelings, guys. If you're cool with Petra, you're cool with us. So why don't we just forget about all this and, you know, make this about how cool our builds are. May the best team win. Careful what you wish for. We'll see about that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Endercon Building Competition. The winners of this year's competition will have their build featured at Endercon. The winners will also meet, in person, Gabriel the Warrior. Ocelot! 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 Whoa, handshake? We don't have a handshake. We'll just <clears throat> make one up. We'll call it the, uh... The Warrior Whip. No leaving designated crafting areas for any reason. And just like that, I'm nervous again. Don't talk like that. We can do this. Just stick to the plan and everything will be fine. This year, the Order of the Pig can't lose. That's your best. Let's do it. Building starts now. Oh no, a fireworks dispenser. I'm so scared. You worry about your build and we'll worry about ours. The moment of truth. Here goes nothing. This looks so cool. We'll win this for sure. How could anyone not love a zombie? Good call, Jesse. Guys, people are looking at us. Good build, man. What? No way. It's just a bunch of dyed wool. Whoops. Oh, no. Ruben's on fire. Ruben, no. Come back. It was Aiden, that punk. The lava's getting closer. You're ruin the bill. Ruben's going to get lost. We've got to do something. But our build is about to go up in flames. We've got to get Ruben. Oof. We're right behind you. Uh, ah. I don't see him anywhere. Reuben! The sun's going down. We gotta find him fast. He could have gone anywhere, and this part of the woods is huge. We stand a better chance of finding him if we split up. If either of you get lost, just use the lights from Endercon to make your way back to town. Got it? Got it. Ruben! Where are you? Just give me an oink if you can hear me. Hmm. Pig track. 
tracks. Ruben? He must have run by here. Doesn't look like this fire will spread. I bet Ruben started this.
Don't leave that spot. No matter what. You hear me? Get away from him! Oh, no. He got you. Come on, let's get out of the open. I want to show you something. Not that this isn't a really cool, dimly lit tunnel, but how far away is this thing you want to show me? Careful, Jesse. You don't want to get a reputation as a wimp. This isn't my first time in a cave, Petra. Yeah, but have you ever seen a wither skull? Whoa. Fresh from the nether. You're the first person I've showed it to. So, you'd better appreciate this. You risked your life for that dusty old skull? No, oh, I risk my life for the thing I'm going to exchange for that dusty old skull. There's this guy I'm meeting up with at Endercon. He's going to trade me a diamond for it. Being the resident go-getter pays off every once in a while. Literally. Why didn't he just go get the skull himself? He's not the kind of guy who has time to do something like that. What kind of guy is he, then? The kind who understands the value of hard work. Wow. Wow what? In a single day, you went to the nether, you killed a wither skeleton. I mean, I did build a super cool statue, but still... It's pretty sweet being you, huh? You know, you could come with me. I mean, if you're too nervous, I totally get it. But I wouldn't mind a little backup. You want me to come with you? Consider it my charitable act for the day. I'll consider it whatever you want me to consider it. So long as I get to come. You just keep a crafting table down here? comes in handy. Since that wooden sword of yours got busted... You're giving me a new one? Even better. You can make your own. One stick plus two stones equals one sword. Just grab what you need. Oh, okay. Thanks. Hey, is all this stuff yours? No, we're just stealing from whoever was dumb enough to leave this here. Of course it's mine. Just making sure... Here we go. Jackpot. Just place the pieces on the table. Come on, Jesse. We don't have all night. Yeah? Make it yourself. Check it out. Endercon's all lit up. Oh, man. Looks like Lucas and his ocelots won again. Sorry, Jesse. But you've got to admit, that beacon does look pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted this to be the year we finally beat that jerk. You know, Lucas may be kind of arrogant, but he has come through for me in tricky situations. You might want to get to know him, just in case. He's good at building, that's for sure. It's always useful to have a guy like that around, no matter what you might think of him personally. Yeah, you might be right. I'm just saying, if you run into him at Endercon, try talking to him. I don't need a lecture on the power of collaboration, Petra. How about a lecture on the power of my fists? Is short, but deadly. Come on, let's hurry. Remember what Endercon was like before it was cool? Remember what we were like before we were cool? 
Some of us will never be cool. Ha ha. Creepers. This doesn't look good. Well, there's only one way off this bridge. Whatever we do, we do it together. Hurry up, Jesse! The only way off this bridge is through them. <laughs> together and follow me. So, when we're making the deal, I need you to let me do the talking, okay? I just don't want anything to screw this up. Should I be nervous about this? Given your personality, your life experience, and everything else you've done to make it to this moment, yes. Jesse. And Petra? Hey, you all know Petra, my new super close friend. We're super close now. We ran into each other while I was looking for Reuben. Poor Reuben. What happened to his eye? We had a little run-in with some zombies. They whacked him good. But Reuben held his own. What were you doing in the woods, Petra? Nothing. Just drawn by the sound of Jessie's high-pitched screams. I would have been spider bait if she hadn't have found me. I gotta admit, I'm pretty bummed they won. Again. I mean, there's no way we were gonna let you go after Reuben by yourself, but it's okay to be a little disappointed, right? Or like, a lot disappointed? The saddest of the sad sacks? Cheer up, guys. We'll get them next year. I don't know, Jesse. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is sad. Hey, if at first you don't succeed, then, uh, succeed later than originally planned. Hey, Jesse, it's time to go see about that thing. Oh, right. The thing. Subtle. Yeah? As a punch to the face. Axel and I were going to head into Endercon anyway. See you in there? I heard somebody saying there's free cake by the map booth. Hurry. We're supposed to meet in the alley over there. Dark. Dark. Very dark in here. That's weird. He said the dark, creepy alley close to the gates, but he's not here. Maybe he's late. Are you sure this is the dark, creepy alley he meant? Hmm. I was. Okay. New plan. You stay here, just in case this is the spot he meant, and I'll look around. I guess I could have heard him wrong. Then again, I've never gotten a meetup spot wrong before. But then why would he be late? Something about this feels off to me. All of my secret deals feel off. That's why I usually keep them a secret. I'll be back before you know it. If he shows up while I'm gone, just stall for me. Ah! And 
just who are you? I'm waiting. No. Who are you? If you belonged here, you would know. Unless that's all part of the plan. I'm supposed to meet with Petra, not whatever you're supposed to be. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't walk out of here right now. Well, I'm a very busy man. I'm with Petra. My deal is with her, not her partner. She'll be here. But we can get started without her. Do you have the skull? Uh, well... You do or you don't. You'd better not be toying with me. Unacceptable. I'm not wasting any more time with you. Ivor. Not a moment too soon. Your partner here almost soured the deal. Ah, oh, well, that's not good. I left my friend Jesse here while I went looking for you. I've got what you ask for. If you have what you promised us. You didn't say anything about an us when we first met. And I don't like surprises. If these are the sorts of people you associate with, perhaps we should call the whole thing off. My friend is fine, right, Jesse? There's no problem here. Let's not be too hasty, okay? This is just a little misunderstanding. Let's just do this thing. That's what I thought. Proceed then. I'll take that diamond now. Take it. You've earned it. Uh, this isn't a diamond. No, it's lapis. Of all the dirty, underhanded tricks to pull. I can't believe that guy got one over on me. Let's go after him. I'm either getting that diamond, or I'm getting my skull back. Or... You'll make him pay, right? Right? Come on. Do you see him anywhere? We lost him. Then we'll just have to find him again. Go. won't find him just standing around. There he is! Gabriel! Gabriel! Step aside, I have please. just one question. Hold all your questions until after the keynote. The keynote sold out. Hold all your questions anyway. What's up? What's up? Nothing. What's up with you? Nothing. What's up with you? I just said, nothing. I'm sorry you guys didn't win this year. It might have turned out pretty cool. If it hadn't, you know, burned down or whatever. You know that stunt your friend pulled really hurt my pig. Okay, maybe, but I had nothing to do with that. Besides, he looks just fine to me. The black eye makes him look tough. Hey. You didn't happen to see a creepy guy with long hair and a beard roaming around, did you? I don't think so. Why? He kind of scammed Petra out of a diamond earlier. Oh, everyone knows you don't mess with Petra. I have to know what's good for you. I'll keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. I appreciate it. So, uh, we're cool? Yeah, we're cool. Cool, cool. Coolio. Coolness? <laughs> See you later, Lucas. Yeah, see ya. <laughs> Thought you could just wiggle right out of that trap, didn't you? Well, wiggle as much as you want. You're not going anywhere. Axel, listen up. Any chance you've seen a creepy-looking beardy guy anywhere? No. Petra told me what happened. I'm keeping an eye out for him. Okay, so I got a little distracted. It's just this machine presses all my buttons. Unnecessarily complicated, mean to birds for no reason. It's just, when something like this calls, you gotta answer. But I swear, as soon as the demonstration is over, Petra did make it sound kind of serious. 
the old silent treatment, huh? All right, all right, I'll look. After I watch one more chicken get home. Ha! Huh. I see you now, weirdo. Well, if it isn't Team Trash Bag, how's your stupid pig? I hear intense heat causes brain damage. It does boost the flavor something crazy, though. Aiden, you idiot. Hey, who are you calling an idiot? You. Now move. Hey. Hey, where do you think you're... What do you think you're doing? Oh, I'm sorry. Get away from me! I said I was sorry. Ruben? Where'd you wander off to? Get your pork chops here. Fresh off the bone. Nothing sticks to your ribs quite like a juicy pork chop. What's a big idea? I'm trying to run a business here. That's my pig. You kidnapped my pig. Well, I don't know what you're talking about, Chief. I found this pig wandering alone in the street. Not the fattest pig I've ever seen. Well, he should cook up real nice anyway. Give him to me now. You wouldn't be threatening me, would you? What if I am? I'm not interested in arguing with you. I might be amenable to some kind of trade. Not that you look like you've got much of value. <laughs> and I gotta get some kind of return on my investment. Give me back my pig. All right, you little maniac. Fine. Take him. It's yours. Come on, Reuben. I'm sorry, Reuben. I was so busy trying to find that creepy dude, I didn't notice. <laughs> Remember that thing I had to go do with Petra? Long story short, we met up with this guy. He cheated me and Petra on a deal, and now we're trying to track him down. You in? Oh, I'm in, all right. Any sign of him? I thought I saw him earlier, but it was just a false alarm. Wait! There he is! Looks like he's heading towards the hall. We're gonna have to get past that usher to follow him. Let's go! So, yeah. Hey, what would it take to get us inside tonight? Uh, tickets? <laughs> That was a good one, you should laugh. I'm sorry, but no tickets, no show. <laughs> chicken! 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 It's gone. You're totally fine. You're a totally cool dude. We have to do something. Like what? This show has been sold out for ages. I could bust right through. I just need a little wind-up room. Any other bright ideas? We need a distraction. A lot of chickens running around might be a distraction. Shoo, shoo! Get out of oh, here! Oh, sure is afraid of chickens. What would you say if I told you I want to break this guy's chicken machine to create the mother of all distractions? But you have to break that pane of glass. How are you going to reach it? Let's look around. There has to be something we can do. Ruben, I need your guidance. What would you do in a situation like this? I hear you, brother. Hey, I really need to get inside. You and every person here without a ticket. Any ideas? Yes. That pertain to our current situation? No. Thought so. I need to reach that window, but the fence is in the way. 
And I don't think I can mess up the fence if he's around. Hey, what are you doing? Sorry. Sorry, just your regular everyday chicken enthusiast here. Don't make me call security. I could reach that glass with a slime block. Oh, hey! We meet again! <laughs> One slime block, please. We don't give out slime blocks here, just slime balls. We've got a limited supply today, and we're only giving out two per customer. You could craft your own slime block if you had nine slime balls. I'm really sorry about earlier. I honestly thought you were someone else. Apology accepted. A round of slime balls for everyone, please. Wait, this is only eight slime balls. We need one more to make a block. Okay, we need to find another way to get some more slime, and quick. On it. Uh, Lucas, can you do me a favor? Anything's possible. I need slime balls. I swear I have a really good explanation. Whatever you guys are doing, count me in. Thanks, Lucas. Told you he was useful. Oh, man. This guy isn't actually cool, is he? Remains to be seen. It's crafting time. So, you guys been building together long? You've got good chemistry. Are you jealous? I'm just saying, I think it's cool you have a team that works so well together. You're totally jealous. How's it going, Jesse? You know how to do this. A slime in every slot, and uh, every slot, a slime. Ta-da! One slime block. Gross. I'll take that. Right there. It's all you, Jesse. Give me a boost. Go. There. Through that door. What do we do once we catch him? There are a million ways to play this. But considering this isn't my fight, I'll follow your lead. We politely ask for what's ours. Short, sweet, and to the point. Not bad. Ready? Ready. anything? He must have gone out another way. What is all this? Looks like it used to be the basement. Weird place to have a hideout. I bet you anything I'll find my wither skull here. And if we find anything else cool to steal along the way, so be it, right? Axel, that's not what we're here to do. I said we should ask Pelep. <laughs> 